Greetings. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new feature in CRD7 called Collaboration. Uh, one of our newest features that we added, it enables you to perform a number of tasks from load balancing to creating dedicated machines or non-dedicated machines that can process your schedules across an enterprise. A couple of scenarios that would adapt to this are, say you wanted to create a specific scheduler for each function of each department. You want to have a scheduler for all of your sales reports. You want to have a scheduler for all of your finance reports. You want to have a scheduler for all your facilities reports. Well, with collaboration, you actually have the ability to assign schedules to those types of schedulers and take a lot of the processing load off of your main machine. Before we set up collaboration, a couple of things you have to think about. In order to make collaboration work, you're actually going to have to have other CRD installations. They can be installed on a virtual machine or a physical machine, but they will have to be separate CRD installations. For each, each collaborator, you're going to have to have a installation of CRD on that machine. Perfect. The other thing you have to consider with collaboration is that you will have to make sure that each separate machine has its scheduler set up in the way that you want and that the functions of that scheduler are set up the way you want. Example, if you're running it as an NT service and you want your schedules to run as an NT service, that remote server or CRD machine will need to be set up to run as a service as well. If it's going to be sending out emails via SMTP and you want that machine to do it, then you will have to make sure that SMTP is set up on that machine as well. Okay, now that we have some of that stuff out of the way, let's set up a collaborator. If you go to the System tab, you'll see the Collaboration button. Here is where you will add your different collaborators. What you'll first need to do is switch it on. Now that it's on, the Add button becomes highlighted, and you can actually start adding CRD machines. Simply click Add, and then browse in your network to the specific machine that has the information that you want. It will automatically take you straight to your CRD config folder. Simply select your config file. What's going to happen is this machine will no longer process lo local schedules, and it will be connected to your central CRD system and processes. Click OK once you're ready to proceed. Authenticate to that machine so you'll need to know the, the user account that has full read-write access on the machine, preferably a local admin administrator over the machine. Make sure the domain is correct and click OK. Give it just a second while it connects to the machine. And then go ahead and after connecting to it, you'll now see the collaborator set up in the list here. Keep on adding your different collaborators as you will until you're finished. So now you have a list of CRD machines that now can handle all of your different scheduling. So now how are you able to assign your schedules to your different, to your different CRD machines? You can either do this in a current scheduler by making a new one. If you go into one of your current schedules, and then go to the schedule section of your report, of your schedule. You'll notice this option here has changed a bit. Instead of it being simply enable this schedule, this is actually enable this schedule and execute it on a specific collaborator that you created. Simply select from the drop down list the CRD machine you'd like it to run on and then apply. And there we have it. 
Now my schedule will always run on my assigned CRD machine. All the processing will occur on that machine. This is pretty helpful when you have those pretty hefty reports that take a long time to run and yet you don't want it to hold up any other machines or take too big of a drag on your primary CRD server. It's a great way to load balance and even organize your schedules how they run and where they run as well. With collaboration there's an element of failover as well. So if one of your collaborators aren't working, isn't working, fails to work for whatever reason, then CRD has the built-in ability to actually execute that schedule on the primary CRD machine just as a precaution. So even if your other machines aren't working, did not work, your schedules will still run with ease. Feel free to contact us for more information about collaboration. Thank you very much for joining. Bye for now.